Filmora 9, how I make it work faster for producing weekly videos. Now we produce a new video every week. This can be a real challenge. We've got life, all the things involved in life, family, video production, work, and volunteer work. We have friends. So saving time in doing anything really is priceless. So while there are more powerful video editing packages available, I have focused on using Filmora 9 to get what I need done quickly. There are limits to what this software can do though, and I've bounced against those limits a number of times. But here are some of the shortcuts that make this editor work faster for me. If you ask the people at Filmora if there are ways to make shortcuts, they'll point you to the keyboard shortcuts and say, that's it. So it's up to the user to make the correct choices at the beginning of each project. It can even help to have a list of things to do when you start a project. I have included the list I use in the description below. Some of these will be preset and you're just checking them, making sure that they are set properly. You may have changed it last time. Others are not and will need to be set again. Part of my pattern of work is to import my standard picture and video files. These include intro, outro, subscribe and ring the bell, and others. These I use with most videos. So bringing them all in at first saves me time. I don't have to go looking for them. I create a folder in my project under media, then just drag and drop the folder holding these files into that folder. This gives me a place to start and lights up the save file icon. So now I can give the project a name that will help me keep it organized. Next, I import all of my voiceover files into a folder that I create in my project and edit them to remove the bloopers and dead air. Then I export the cleaned audio track and bring it back in. After that, I will import my video and get started with the major editing of my video, whatever it might be. Now, in case you missed it, my pattern of work includes organizing along the way. To give you an example, for a 10 minute video, I may have 12 to 15 audio files and double that of uncut video files and maybe five to 20 graphics files that are not part of Filmora 9 that I use as visual aids. And with that many files in media, my project, losing one will cost me time just looking for it. Keeping them in folders makes it easier to find them when I need them. Now, shortcut keys are powerful tools to speed up the work of editing, but only if your hand is on the keyboard. Learn the shortcut keys for the hand that's not driving the mouse and you will go faster. Think about it. When you take your hand off of the mouse and use a shortcut, you still have to find the mouse again, find the mouse pointer on the screen, and then continue. Any time you saved by using the shortcut is lost by just getting back to the mouse. Now, if you have a programmable mouse, then you might be able to program the keyboard shortcuts for that hand into the mouse. Now that might be a nice speed up tool. I just ordered one. I'll let you know what I find on this. Now, if you use the music and audio from YouTube, rather than import it every time and add it to the My Music folder of audio, that can help you. That'll give you predefined audio that you can use whenever you need it. Anytime you're in Foam or 9, it's available to you. Now, how do you get it? Download it from YouTube, Creator Studio Beta, under Channel, Other Features, Audio Library. Also, if you spend some time in the YouTube Audio Library, when you're not under pressure to get a video out, you can find and download some hidden gems of audio that you can then make available in your own My Music Library in Filmora 9. As you create videos, you will find that certain titles work best for your style of video presentation. Or you may even find that your style is not like anything in the title library. The solution is make your own. In our videos, I need to show details that can be paused and studied. So titles make this simpler. But there are no titles in Filmora 9 that do this directly. I had to take what they have and change it to meet the needs of our videos. I only want to do this once. So I make general changes to a title that's close to what I really need, and then I save it as a preset. These will then be available to any other video I make in Filmora 9 in Titles Custom under Audio, Titles, Transition, Effects, and Elements. They all have a favorite section. Use this as you find the things that you like or use every time. Then you don't have to go searching for that item when you need it right now. It's right there under the favorite of that menu. To make this work for you, whatever you do, don't overload the favorites or it will become easier to go back to the original location to look for it. While this is outside of Filmora 9, it is important to know 
make sure the computer you're using is reliable and as fast as you can afford. Now I'm running an i7 Intel with 16 gigs of RAM, a two terabyte hard drive, and while I do have the Radeon graphics in it, Filmora 9 insists on using the Intel UHD graphics that's also in the computer. That's a little slower, but you know, that's what it uses, so I use it. I also run two monitors. This is really very helpful because with Filmora on one screen, I can have the file explorer windows for all the files I'm working with open on the other along with my script so I can reference it, maybe a browser or two and other things that make the process go faster. So these are some of the shortcuts I've found. What about you? Have you found some shortcuts in Filmora 9? Leave a comment below or better yet, make a video yourself about what you found and share it maybe along with this one so that we all can get faster with Filmora. Thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, press the like button below and subscribe. And also check out our other videos.